All right, welcome back to another Art of War 3 replay. I'm your host, John Cena. And today we're gonna be doing a 1v1 battle here. I'm gonna be the blue resistance player here in the bottom left corner. And my opponent is gonna be a red resistance player and they'll be in the top right corner. So let's go and get into it. We're getting some scouting around the map here, trying to grab those early game containers for resources and base development. Uh, something to note for our opponent here today is they are a medalist with a 77% win rate. So, should be a potentially interesting matchup here. Let's see what happens in the battle. So we got some early scouting happening. We see uh, double assault vehicle factories from the red player. So possibly going for a double coyote build which is a common build for resistance players in the early game. So we can see here that uh, we got coyotes in full production mode. We don't have a full scout of the entire red player's bases yet. Uh, I'm going to drop down a rocket tower in the middle of my base here, just so I have some defense against any potential rushes. I'm also going to go ahead and tech up to HQ3 while using another assault to get a scout onto the red player's base. So let's see what red's up to. We can see that red is in the middle of teching up to HQ3, is dropping on a special vehicle factory, and is upgrading an assault vehicle factory. So looks like no aviation for this red player. They are going for a land build. So I was initially thinking that this red player was going to go for an HQ3 build, but instead red's now going to tech up for HQ4 and is attempting to go for a mass HQ4 army. This is a pretty common strategy for uh, players in the higher ranks to go for or players with a lot of upgrades and medals. So there's pros and cons to an HQ4 fast build. It allows you to get to your higher tech units sooner and you can mass produce high tech units, but it also leaves you vulnerable in the early stages of the game. So I'm going to be counting on this red player to be vulnerable for long enough for a window for me to launch an assault onto the red player's base with a full HQ3 army. So my plan is to go for double production of hammers We've got three barracks that are going to produce a mix of heavy assaults and fire assaults and they have one special vehicle factory for torrents. I'm not going to mix in any typhoons because I don't see this red player going for any sort of aviation and heavy assaults with the new update in the game tend to be a better counter against dragonflies than typhoons. So I got an assault moving through the base kind of investigating some more now and we can see that red is already HQ4 now. They're starting to produce units, so I need to move now and put pressure now uh, if I'm going to have any success. So here we go now. First engagement of the battle. I'm going to throw out a gold attack boost here just to give my units the best chance possible. We got grenadiers, jaguars, and porcupines moving in, and it's going to be facing off against my hammers, heavy assaults, and the torrent. So I'm going to deploy that torrent just to get some heavier firepower down. Here comes a group of coyotes coming in from behind my initial attack force. Uh, but I'm going to sandwich those coyotes with my reinforcement troops coming in. I've got a hammer and some heavy assaults coming in. This is going to clean up those coyotes nicely. Now that I've cleaned up the coyotes, I can go ahead and start to press my assault onto the red player's base. And this is going to be the make or break for this battle. If I fail miserably in this attack here, I'm going to be behind for the rest of the battle. It'll be very hard to come back if I succeed here. It's going to be a nice quick victory for me with good timing. So let's see how this pans out. Red is desperately trying to spam Grenadiers to defend against my army here. Uh, I've got some fire assaults mixed in with the heavy assaults and there's a lot of infantry in my assault force here. So Grenadiers are not as good against infantry as they are against vehicles. Uh, we can see most of my hammers have been cleaned up though by the red player. I'm making slow and steady progress into the red player's base. I gotta be careful to not let them get too many anti-infantry structures down so I can keep my heavy assaults alive. 
Porcupine trying to dish out some damage onto my units. It's gonna get cleaned up. We see another Jaguar coming in from the red player trying to dish out some damage. And that one Jaguar though is gonna get cleaned up. I'm just continuing to put pressure onto the red player's base here. And red is still trying to produce units here. Red is desperately trying to hold off my assault here. I've got two points though putting fire down onto that assault vehicle factory and that assault vehicle factory is going to go down and red is losing the battle here we're starting to get into some of the infrastructure uh supporting red red's now spamming some barracks in an attempt to maybe get some infantry out but i don't know if that's going to be enough here my units are now moving deeper into the red player's base my torrents are going to redeploy and put down some extra fire onto the red player so now we can see the special vehicle factory and assault vehicle factory in production uh, but we only see a coyote coming out of that assault vehicle factory and most likely a porcupine from that special vehicle factory. So as we can see here this is an example of good timing with a full HQ3 army push uh, to counter players that attempt to go for a fast HQ4 build. Uh, this strategy doesn't always work out as there are certain players who can fast tech to HQ4 and they can defend off a rush. So, something to try out in your next battle. Uh, this is pretty much a good game. The rest of it's just me cleaning up this resistance player's base. Hopefully you all enjoyed the battle relatively quick. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, good luck.